out of this team? I mean, I know that's a term that in the media we use, but like, what does it practically mean on your end? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's killer instinct or survival instinct. Um, what I what I do like about what's happened is the guys have they've changed the game. They've made a conscious effort to do you know the things we need to win, um, and you know ultimately getting the lead has been huge for us. And I, I, that's what I guess like, to your point. I guess that's you know they've had that attack mentality. Um, a you know in game five to start the game, and in game four when they scored first was to get two quick ones right after that. And so we've kind of taken momentum with them, whether that's killer instinct or whatever you call it. Uh, it's a pretty good response by the guys. What do you think, I'm ask you a loaded question. What do you think uh, Brian McDonough's biggest impact? Where, where has he made the biggest impact on this team, Brian McDonough? And has it been as impactful as you envisioned? You know? mm, what's his biggest impact? <coughs> well, he's... He's a monster in his own end, so that would go to it. He munches minutes, so that alleviates a lot of pressure off 77 um, and 5 to a certain extent. Great on the penalty kill. Um, you know, so I, his skating ability, I, I don't know, like I, he, he's just... He's made us a better defending team, I guess, like is the best way I can put it. And um, you'd have to sit here and say, you know, like the guy we rely on the most at, at, to, you know, whether it's hold a lead or, or what have you, he's probably been the guy that's come in there and cemented that for us. Um, and those guys are hard to find. Pat? Um, one of the series you were mentioning, Chris Kuhnitz and his kind of role on the bench where he's talking through a trait of, oh of, of Kuhn as well of, of, to me that's a there's a ton of leadership involved there and it, it keeps guys engaged so when you have a quiet bench they seem to you know guys you got that fear of going to sleep when you have guys talking keeping guys engaged saying what's happening giving guys heads up it just kind of trickles down to the rest of the guys and I, I like when the, be the bench is active. I like when the bench is, you know, guys are communicating and Cooney's kind of the leader of that. And um, I just think, you know, the younger guys just learn from that. And, uh, you know, it's just part of Kunitz and his winning habits. Any other questions? Tom? I don't know if you've been paying attention to the other series out west. Um, your thoughts on an expansion team reaching the Stanley Cup final? Well, they're, I mean, they're, they're a wonderful story. Um, I, I think, I don't know, there's been talk of how could that happen or whatever. I'll, I'll tell you how it happened. They got an owner that hired an unreal GM. They got an unreal GM that hired an unreal coach. They were all left to do their jobs. They were given a framework to work with. They could have screwed it up or they could have done really well. And they chose to do really well. They played within the rules that were given to them. And this is what you get. And I don't think it's a, I don't know, it's a success story is what it is. Um, it's not a Cinderella story. And it's, uh, I know the gentlemen well that are involved, the gem and coach, and I couldn't be more proud of the guys at the job they've done. They deserve to get there. And uh, I only hope that we're the team to get to play. What are you saying? Like uh, with our lines and. No, Vegas, like oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, somebody's got to start somewhere, and somebody needs the break. And and you look at. You know, can you sit here and envision that Wild Bill was going to have 43 or whatever he had? Probably not, but. We have somebody on our staff member, you know, Todd Richards, who been with him, says that kid's going to be an unreal hockey player. They just got him, you know, when he was about to sprout. You know, Marshy had 30. Um, 
Riley Smith's been a good player in the league. And they did their homework on the guys that either fit what they wanted to do. Uh, they got guys that could skate. And, and um, as I said, they did their homework on the, and the guys they took. And um, it's... I, I like they, they, what they did a really good job is they built their team for today's NHL. So, you know, do they have that quote unquote superstar? I guess not yet because they haven't been around long enough, but they got a hell of a lot of good hockey players. And uh, they've got a coach that's had them all go in the same direction. Any more Eastern Conference final no, questions? I had, that, I had a George McKay question. Okay. He was a guy who had interviewed you yeah. and, and wanted to take a chance on you as a coach. Um, how much appreciation do you have for him for, for that and, and, and the, the way he sees hockey and moving forward and, and the decisions he's tried to make and made over the years? Oh, he's at the top of the pyramid for me. And uh, I was extremely fortunate to land with, with Steve Eiserman. Um, but George was, when I was coming up the ranks and going through my first interview process, um, met with him on numerous occasions, and um, I couldn't be... I, I, I just remember when... Uh, I was not the one brought in, nor should I have been at the time. Um, but there was always something in me that said, hey, you know, if, if there was ever a situation, I would definitely go work for that uh, that guy. He's um, he's everything is advertised, and, um, yeah, he deserves what he's getting. Did you want one? Everybody asked my Vegas question. Check out another one. That was it? Okay. Uh, action news. Let's go. Yes. Let's, let's hear your action question. <laughs> you guys in a position to close out. You've done it twice already before. Does it give you guys any more confidence, the experience of the last two series going forward? Well, they're different scenarios because we were at home the last two. I just know the importance, and I know our guys do, is when you get the chance to close them out, close them out. Uh, because you're just adding momentum and um, to a team that, you know, you just keep throwing them lifelines, which we do not want to do. Uh, I've been on both sides of it. Up 3-2, lost. Down 3-2, one. I've seen it go every different way. Um, you just have to impart to your team, this is the night. They, game seven's not an option. It's game six, and, and, uh, and let's end it. And you have to have that attitude.